Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur lightweight fight is set for three pre-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the main two Mitchell Blue Point. He steps to the cage with a record of one win and five losses. His height, five feet, nine inches at his weight, 146 pounds. He trains with Hitman MMA and he fights out of the He steps into the cage with a record of two wins, four losses. His height, six feet, and his weight, 151 pounds. He trains with impact and MMA, and he fights out of the who just rocked the cage tonight with a five second KO. I mean, it was TKO, but it was five seconds. That's one of V2's fastest KOs. How do you feel about that? Uh, I, I feel pretty good. I didn't know that at all, for real. I was just, it was really, I don't know. I just, I'm really excited right now. Absolutely. Very happy. And when was your last fight? My last fight was uh, actually here, I think two months back. Two, two months back against Graham Hunter and he actually he actually gave me a wake up call and I, that was the reason I've been back in the gym like I have been. And how does it feel getting this victory in the cage tonight? Uh, it feels good. I've been waiting to get one of these V2 medals for a second now, so and it definitely puts a nice face in my heart. And let's talk about Impact MMA. You guys always bring it to the table. A lot of fighters are afraid to fight you guys. So how does it feel being with such a dominant team? Uh, it feels good and, and I don't know why guys are ducking us. We just love the raw, so you know, <laughs> it's whatever. But you know, I, I have all confidence in my team because of the, the great coach we have, you know, Tony Fokers, he's one of the best around. His name not brought up or not, but this man is the GOAT. But uh, no, I just, I love, because of my team, I'm able to push forward and do things that I thought I couldn't, so. And what's next for Aaron White? What are we gonna see from you? 
Um, I'm looking to probably fight again in the next few months, and then y'all probably have me back here. When, oh yeah, next week I'm actually fighting, and uh, y'all have me back for y'all next event soon too. Absolutely. Which one? Oh, here. After I yeah, fight come there. Come on in here. We got we got to know the scoop. These guys at back home, we got to know the scoop. Let's talk about Impact MMA. I got a little bit of time. I am running back and forth from these, <laughs> these fights. So uh, the plan is is. He fights hopefully next week if the guy still accepts. Oh, come on in here. Ah. Yeah, we, I know. This is nah, my little fine. box. I'm, you know, so don't be, I don't we're mind. looking to fight True Rev next week in Ottumwa, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And if he wins that fight in a good fashion, we're looking for a rematch with Calicon, which is the 45-pound yeah. uh, heavyweight or champion. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we're talking to with Brandon and, and the team. So hopefully that goes and he does what he needs to do and shows up and performs. So. And how do you keep your fighters sharp for looking forward to a B2 belt like this? We don't have no days off. We, 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 we don't stop. I classify my gym as a fighter's gym, and we really put in a lot of rounds Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, even Sundays. We'll be back in the gym Monday working. You know, that seems like the new motto for MMA nowadays is that you don't get ready, you stay ready. Would you say that's yeah. pretty correct? 100% accurate because... For instance, you, you never know when something's going to pop up. Say a guy championship fight next week and the, one of the guys back out, say he gets a call for a belt. He'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Hurt or not, he'll be ready as long as he's medically cleared. He'll be ready to fight. And your professional opinion, how do you feel the sport has evolved since just like, let's say, five years ago? Oh, drastically. Um, for instance, whenever I was fighting, I didn't even knew that there was a sanctioning body. Mm -hmm. I, I, all my fights were unsanctioned, and I had... A lot. <laughs> I had a lot of fights, so it's it's very improved. The social media presence for just B2 alone is dominating the market, I, I feel like, and it's helping get more people involved okay. on an amateur level. Right. So I, I think it's drastically changed. And, you know, you, right now you're an amateur, but you guys show up and act like professionals. Is that something that you are instilled with at your team? Yes. Um, since the day I've been training with this man, he, he's told me nothing but respect and how we pushed it out to people. So that, that's a big thing at our camp. Well, we'd love to hear it. We, we couldn't have a show without you. And guys, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. I Seriously. appreciate you. And all the hard work. Yes, Shout absolutely. Out. Oh, I like your nails. Look at you. I have the t Let's hold on. Hold on <laughs> Wait a that. minute. <laughs> I got the tips. You got the full on. <laughs> I want to uh, give a big thanks to uh, H&S Floor uh, Flooring and Buffalo Constructions. Uh, our not, our uh, sponsors appreciate you guys. I want to thank my team, my family, uh, Pat, Pat, uh, Pat Muay Thai and Peoria. You guys are amazing. Thanks for the flooring sessions I've had. You know, I'm, all I keep, all I can do is thank you guys, and I'm gonna keep working. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Yes.